Okay, here we have a beat checkers from uh, Sean and Ray. We are here in Tokyo from Ikebukuro. We are in the White House for Red Zone right now. So, hi, welcome to Tokyo, guys. Thanks. <laughs> we love you guys. Okay, let me ask you something. Some people in Japan might not know about you guys in many. So, could you kind of introduce yourself briefly a little bit? What do you want to play? I don't know what you're a band from. Uh, well, we're beat checkers, and I'm Ray, and I'm, I'm a rapper. Sean, I sing. Okay. So what, what was your first time you played here in Japan? What was it? Me was June 2009. June and with, with only three members in our band. And then Sean, you joined us the year after, right? Really? 2010? 2010. <laughs> yeah. But now your members are seven members right now. So yeah. What yeah. other members came from? Uh, just the friends of the band, and then one the guitarist joined, and then our other MC who's Japanese joined when he was in the audience one day, and then just started talking to us and said he enjoyed it, and, and just asked us if he could come to practice, and they kind of joined after that. What do you think about the Japanese audience compared to the other foreign audience you do the band, the live show? <laughs> um, I think foreign audiences are much more uh, loud. Like much, foreign audiences tend to have a, a different behavior. Um, much more loud, rowdy, willing to dance or give us high fives on stage or you know even touch us. One time we had girls take off our shirts. That was kind of awkward. Yeah, that was awkward. Did they throw the glasses and stuff? That doesn't happen. I, I, yeah. yeah, no, they take off our clothes, but for some reason they won't take off their clothes. Oh, so that's kind of it's a shame. It's a shame. <laughs> The Japanese audience is quiet, you think? Much more so. Much more quiet. Much more subdued and uh, Yeah, relaxed. right you know, right after the song is done, then they start clapping or wooing or whatever. But you know, uh, foreign audiences just halfway through the song they might yell something. But how you how you plan to energize them though? Just by talking to them. <laughs> kinda do it yeah, kinda do it directly. And my limited Japanese, I try to get them just make jokes. They usually laugh and get comfortable and then and alcohol. Tell me the joke. Uh, joke. Tell me the joke you say on Actually, scene. no, I just yell in Japanese in like the bad Japanese that I know. What, what do you say? Like, say nani, 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 nani. Your favorite word, your favorite oh, word. Oh, I have to dance. <laughs> I just yell at them like oji san and then they like it. Uh, Eventually, <laughs> they. But not always. Hey, pretty much, yeah. But they don't know I'm Indian, so they don't think that. <laughs> So you don't gonna introduce yourself, your background on the stage, or nah, not important. You just do the random rant. <laughs> just <laughs> random rant, man. <laughs> okay. After okay. uh, you write the lyrics, yes. What inspire you to actually write the lyrics all the time for each just song? Experiences. Just experiences. Can you kind of give us an example? The first song I wrote ever was after my dad had passed away. So just taking trains in Tokyo and commuting is usually long. So time to waste. So one day just well, I started writing again. I used to do it in high school and that was the inspiration. And from there it just kept going and going. Just something that happened yesterday. Oh, write about it. You know? And plus every day is a new experience for me because it's Japan, it's not where I'm from. So you have stuff to write about. So it's usually experience. So you get the inspiration all the time by walking generally life. Generally, yeah. And funny things, yeah, yeah, yeah. culture, culture differences, all the time. Yeah. So some, it's not always serious. First song was serious, but mostly not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's all. That's from there. Do you have any like uh, principle or uh, rules you do on the show on the stage, like motto or anything? You have kind of just to what's just your, what's the distinction between other bands, your band? Oh, I know that. I think I know. What? <laughs> I'm speaking for seven people, but I think we literally just try to make it a party. Like, we're not, I mean, yeah, we have two rappers, we're hip-hop, but that doesn't mean we're coming up being like, yo, we're gangster and shit, you know, we don't, we don't do any of that crap. It's just, we're yeah, just here to... I definitely don't. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. We're, you know, we're not... It's like people have a good time. Pretty much it's just move and have a good time. So good question you asked about the Japanese audience. Because if you're not moving in our eyes, you're not having a good time. That's when we know we're having a good show. It's because the Japanese people actually start dancing. When the Japanese people are dancing, we know the show's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's true, that's true. (laughs) I'm sure you guys playing so many places in Japan. Where is your favorite place to play? There's a place called the Black Sheep on the east side of Ikebukuro Station. And it's basically our home. It's where we were allowed to play before anybody 
do us or we had a website or anything. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, the Black Sheep, and every time we do a show there, that's like home base. Everybody goes there and it's a wild time. Everybody's dancing. We've had mics pulled out. We've had... We've, we've been, Amps. we were collapsed on that one time, like 10 people fell on the stage, we fell back, we yeah, knocked we Shinji fell. back, <laughs> everything, Amps fell, everything. Holy and then, yeah. luckily it was like the second last song, so we were just like, alright. Oh, uh, no problem, okay, last song. <laughs> <one. laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's kind of, Black Sheep is your home. Yeah, it's it started fun. as that, it probably still is, but yeah, yeah, pretty much is our, that's where we started. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's really good to have, uh, you know, your actual home game right there. Yeah. I think you just hit headquarter, Black Sheep, just go out there. Yes, I'm looking forward to your show next time then. Ah, yeah, Thank please you come. Your time. You better come. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you both. Arigato. 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 Ar